We yeah. made it. Woo we are so ready for Can you this imagine? show. Can Bring you it on. We're here? We made it to the finale. Grab your popcorn, grab your champagne, because we're going to watch a wedding. Woo. This is it. We can finally change out of the clothes oh, after this. It's buckle been up. Put your seatbelt on. This thing is getting crazy. So much happens this episode that you would think we're building up to the wedding, but we're not. But we're not. We got so, we got so much. <laughs> <laughs> we have one, it's sip, one of sip of champagne it's and we're, crazy. we're wasted. Yeah. Kyle. I came back for the wedding. I didn't come back for our relationship. What? What are you doing? Megan, get back in the car! You okay? Just drive. When Megan looks to Kyle and says, Kyle, I came back for the wedding, I didn't come back for the relationship. Whoa. Guys, yeah. what did you think of that? It, it, Come hashtag on, that's, rude. That's a baller right? move. Uh, hashtag get some manners because that was a little rude. I mean, you, you say I do, and then you just. But you, I you, don't. You, 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 exactly. I think we need to pause to mourn the loss of the relationship. Well, I think we're going to come back season three, probably. <laughs> Did they ask you back yet? Stronger than ever. <laughs> How'd you not get the email? Oops, awkward. Uh, the, the location, the, the location of the wedding was 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 unbelievable. The idea of this wedding dress, it needed to be not Megan's vision, right? So you had to really show the institute picking this wedding dress. We just thought it would just be this dark, brooding idea of like a wedding dress, and I just love her walking down in that cape. Um, that was very memorable for me. You were very beautiful that day. I was. Thank you. You're very beautiful. It was my wedding day. Hey, it's Kyle West. I need to talk. Can you believe that? She comes, she says I do, and she runs off. I didn't see that coming. I'm a little disappointed by you. Yeah, it is, it's disappointing, but it's also smart. Keep right. your enemies closer. Well, you want that money, honey? <laughs> I don't know if it's about the money at this point. Um, I it's think it's like more about her career. It's not like we're talking about a thousand bucks. It's 10 million dollars. That's, yeah, that's, But you know. girl's gonna make more money on her first motion picture deal, so. Cheers. Kyle. Oh, I think right. Kyle's definitely trying hard. Yeah, to I think that Kyle's work. really, really, you know, he doesn't want this to fail. You know, Megan, he, he he believes in this. He wants this to work, and and he I think he's willing to do anything yeah, by leaving the institute is. and and and. What has he got to lose? Leaving Terrence and everything else, like it's a big deal. She can't trust her husband anymore. No, no. Hashtag. She can't about trust it. her best friend anymore. She's literally alone. <laughs> I yeah. feel bad for her. I yeah, really do. I don't. Does she suspect anything? No. She'll come to the room thinking she's meeting June Layton. I had a PA check Megan into the hotel last night. She brought me the key. A PA? She thinks I'm bringing it to Megan. No one will question this. She collapsed in public two months ago. Her personal life is a mess. People already assume she's on drugs. Does Kyle not know about the plan to kill Megan more than once? I think Kyle's a little blinded by that spell that the Institute has him under. So I think that, uh... Did you, know, you say he's brainwashed? Uh, maybe. I want to say that mm. neither of them are crazy. I think that they're both battling with the idea of, like, can you have it all and still keep a relationship intact? And I think that's what they're just, the two of them are holding onto that belief. So I don't think either of them are crazy. Dean knows the situation. Megan didn't know the situation getting it, into it. So it's like kind of, there's two different deals going on. But I recorded you describing your plan to murder her. It's all here. So. 
<laughs> Deanne's on your side, huh? Deanne is team Megan. Well, I think Deanne has always supported Megan I, I since actually, episode one. I couldn't believe that she went against Terrence like that, actually. That, that was... She went against Terrence in the beginning when uh, Terrence did not want Megan to be Kyle's partner. And Deanne was like, right, no, no, but... no, there's something about that girl that I really like. And Man. she sees herself in Megan. That's what I think. I mean, are you gonna kill Megan off, really? She's not going anywhere. Surprised by Terrence, though, to go to that deal like it was, was gonna take you out. This is what has been driving Megan all along. She knows what he's capable of. I don't think this would surprise Megan, and it didn't surprise Megan. In fact, like it's she, thing, instead though, like, of running away from it, she's using it, she's spinning it around, and you know, she shows up to Terrence's office after that. I wanted to see you. I wanted to feel what it was like to be in the same room with you. Knowing what you tried to do to me. Well, what does it feel like? Same as always. <laughs> Fresh out the gate, man tries to kill her, and she's tough enough to walk in there and she says to him, I just wanted to see the look on your face. Now that I'm here, and you know, and you know the truth, and I know the truth, and I just wanted to see your face. I just think that's such a baller move. Josh is really good at interviews. You're very good at interviews. Like, you raise the bar very high. Uh, it's exhausting for me. It, it's part of the job, but, you know, also, I kind of look at it as, like, you know, we're, we're blessed to be able to do this. Have a show to promote and to have a job and something that we really care about. So that's doing a, press. That's a good way of looking at it. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, we do course. it for a week, two weeks, yeah. uh, out of, you know, before the season. But at the end of the day, these people are having us on the talk shows and, and, and we get to, like, go and pitch something that we really put a lot of freaking work into. And so I have fun with it because a lot of people would be like, man, I, I, oh my gosh, you're going to do that show? You're going to this talk show? Oh my God, I couldn't imagine. So it's pretty cool. Definitely have fun doing it with you. Cheers to that. Absolutely. And Kyle, I have a paparazzi photo of her showing up at his house the night before, late. I'm sorry. Would you like me to send it to you? No. Wow. That's where we're at. Uh, what do you think? Do you think Megan's gonna actually... Did you see that coming? That ending? I didn't see it coming, no. I mean, unleashed the beast. Yeah. Yeah. I it was fun throwing that chair that's... through the window. That was actually pretty cool. As soon as she walks in, she knows. She knows, he knows. I got hit in the face with a piece of glass. It's pretty crazy, almost in my eyeball. You're such a warrior. I'm a hardcore, yeah. He's method. I do my own stunts. Guys, what do you think's gonna happen now? I mean, what an ending to a season, right? They're Cause... just gonna try to destroy each other? Are they gonna be able to get back together? Sounds like fun I to mean, me. I mean, these are big questions. Yeah, it sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed our season as much as we enjoyed doing it. Um, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next year. You know it. I got secrets I can't control.